Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Use the CDF FYFY to find the following probabilities. So this is the CDF that we are given. Uh, as uh, we know that CDF is a monotonically increasing function, right? So uh, part A probability that y is less than one. Part B y is probability that y is less than or equal to one. Part C probability that y is greater than two. Part D probability that y is greater than or equal to two. Pro part E probability that y is equal to one and part f that y is equal to 3. So let's begin solving the problem. So probability that uh, y is uh, less than 1. So um, we see that uh, less than 1 this uh, CDF is uh, 0 right. So obviously the probability uh, that y is less than 1 is the cumulative probability is 0 so therefore the probability that y less than 1 is 0. So part b probability that y is less than or equal to 1 right. So we know that uh, uh, the uh, uh, CDF of a discrete random variable uh, is defined as fx of x is equal to probability that x is less than or equal to the value x. So the value of a uh, of these functions of the CDF function at x is defined as as this probability, right? So it means that we are uh, we can find this probability by finding the value of this CDF at one. So we can say that probability that y is less than or equal to one is equal to the value of the CDF at one. So at 1 the value of the CDF we have two values for it, but we from the CDF we take the upper value right. So so the value of the CDF at this at, at, at 1 is 0 0.6 0 0.6. So the probability that y is less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.6. So now part C probability that y is greater than 2. So probability that y is greater than 2, uh, uh, we can see that probability that y is greater than 2 plus uh, probability that y is less than or equal to 2 is equal to 1, right? y can be either greater than 2 or it can be less than or equal to 2. So probability that y is greater than 2 plus probability that y is less than or equal to 2 is 1. So it means that probability that y is greater than 2 is equal to 1 minus probability that y is less than or equal to 2. But as as uh, as we have explained here, uh, this is the value of the CDF function at 2. So we can write it like this, probability that y is greater than 2 is equal to 1 minus uh, the, the value of the CDF fy at 2. So value of this CDF function at 2 is 0 0.8, right? So we can write probability that y greater than 2 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8. So therefore probability that y is greater than 2 is equal to 0 0.2. So part D, probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 right so probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 this is equal to probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus probability that y is less than 2 right using the same uh, hypothesis that we develop here we can say that probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus probability that y is less than 2 so here the probability that y is less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.8 but the probability that y is less than 2 is 0 0.6 so we can say that probability that y is greater than or equal to 2, 1 minus 0 0.6 and therefore probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 is 0 0.4 so see that probability that y is greater than 2 is 0 0.2 but the probability that y is greater than or equal to 2 is 0 0.4. Both are different probabilities. Party probability that y is equal to 1. 
So y is equal to 1. So we can say that this probability is uh, from the CDF. If we had the PMF, we could just uh, find out the value of y is equal to 1 from the PMF. But uh, to determine it, it from the CDF is, uh, is a different matter. So we can say that uh, in terms of the CDF, probability that y is equal to 1 is equal to probability that y is uh, probability that y is less than or equal to 1 minus the probability that y is less than 1. Right? We can write it like this. Probability that y is equal to 1 is equal to probability that y is less than or equal to 1 minus probability y is less than 1. So this is the value of the CDF at 1. Right? This is f y of y at 1. So at 1 this is 0 0.6 and probability that y is less than 1 is equal to 0. So this gives probability that y is equal to 1 is 0 0.6 minus 0 is equal to 0 0.6. Uh, looking at it other way, uh, we can see that uh, the value of this jump, the uh, the height of this jump is equal to the probability at this point. So the height of this jump at this point is 0 0.6 minus 0. So the probability that x is equal to 1 is 0 0.6, looking at another way. Likewise, we can say that the probability at that x is equal to 2 it is, is given by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, which is equal to the height of this jump, which is again 0. Point, uh, which is 0 0.2. So we are now left with part f probability that y is equal to 3. So this can be found uh, using a similar uh, uh, in a similar manner. Uh, so probability that y is equal to 3 is equal to probability that y is uh, less than or equal to 3 minus probability that y is less than 3, less than 3, right? So from this uh, plot again, probability that y is less than or equal to 3 is 0 0.8 and probability that y is less than 3 is also 0 0.8. So the probability that y is equal to 3 is equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 this is 0 so probability that y takes on value 3 is is a 0 right so this completes the solution to the given problem